story for you now. A man known for his compassion and service during the aid crisis has died. Tonight, our Colin Lingo heard from those left remembering Jim Howes. I was very depressed for a couple of weeks. Back in the mid to late 80s, Richard Broussard was given a life-altering diagnosis and not much else. My doctor said, don't tell anybody, don't ever have sex again, and you're going to die in a year or two. Start looking for a nursing home that will take somebody with AIDS. Good luck. And that was it. He did not take that doctor's advice. And the next person I spoke to about it was Jim House. House would end up being just about the most important friend Richard or anyone else in the LGBTQ plus community made in that era. I am alive and well, living a complete life that I could have never possibly imagined back then. And I've read that same story half a dozen times on Facebook today and other people that Jim House impacted their life. Green County Commissioner Harold Bench met House around the same time. Back then, Bench ran the Springfield Green County Health Department. He saw the same wave of confusion, fear, and anger rising up in response to the AIDS crisis. That resulted in uh, some real concerns in how individuals that had contracted AIDS were being treated. Jim had a uh, had a desire to do something to help those folks. With House's interest in fostering the sick and scared and Bench's interest in spreading the word about the disease, they formed a team that would educate the Ozarks. They would be instrumental in forming the AIDS project of the Ozarks. House would go on to found the Glow Center and secure a spot in the Ozarks Public Servant Hall of Fame. Dedicated. He was dedicated to what it was he needed to do, and he would not be deterred. He was a blessing, is what he was. I mean, I, I, I knew him well enough to say he was no saint. But the next best thing, he was a blessing. Colin Lingo, Ozarks First. And the Glow Center released a statement today saying House impacted everyone who crossed his path and welcomed them and showed them how beautiful life was, um, even while mourning the loss of friends and family. The Glow Center adds uh, individuals across generations count him as a friend, their chosen brother, uncle, father, grandfather, and mentor. His love, wit, and love of life carries on in each of us who knew him. A memorial service and celebration of his life will be held this Sunday at the Galois.